Hey peeps, what's up? Ayush here, back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to review the fastest SSD that you can buy under budget. I'm talking about XPG Edata SX8200 Pro. So this thing right here outperforms Samsung's 970 Evo Plus for a comparatively much lesser price. So let's talk about uh, its specifications, details, how well it performs. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight to the video. Trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wait. The SX8200 Pro M.2 2280 SSD is XPG's fastest SSD to date and is designed for avid PC enthusiasts, gamers, and overclockers. It features an ultra fast PCIe Gen 3 X4 interface that offers sustained peak read write speeds of 3500 oblique 3000 megabytes per second, outpacing SATA 6 GB per second by a wide margin. Supporting NVMe 1.3, the SX8200 Pro delivers excellent random read-write performance and multitasking capabilities with SLC caching, a DRAM cache buffer, E2E data protection, and LDPC ECC. It maintains high speed and data integrity even during highly intensive applications such as gaming, rendering, and overclocking. The SX8200 Pro comes with a sleek black XPG heatsink in the box with pre-installed thermal compound inside for easy DIY. With or without heatsink, the choice is yours as the SX8200 Pro looks great in builds either way. Now let's install this SSD in the M.2 slot of our motherboard. To install this in the M.2 slot, insert this SSD in the M.2 slot. You are gonna need the M.2 screw which might come with the motherboard box. Then press down the SSD with one of your fingers and then screw the M.2 screw in the right place. Now the model which I have right now is a 256 GB variant and now here comes the twist. The specifications may vary according to the variant which you have. According to the data mentioned on their website, 3500 MB per second read speed and 3000 MB per second write speed is the maximum which this SSD can deliver. Now it means that if you are gonna get the top of the line variant means the 2TB variant or the 1TB variant then only you will get the mentioned read write speeds. Now the variant which I have can possibly get the uh, read speeds up to 3500 MB per second but the Write speeds are only up to 1200 MB per second as mentioned behind its box. Now talking about its performance, this SSD offers you a slightly better performance as compared to Samsung's 970 EVO Plus but uh, I'm not gonna compare it with that one because I don't have that SSD obviously. 
Windows boot time from this SSD is blazingly fast. It took around 7.4 seconds for the computer to boot up properly. Whereas when shutting down, it takes around 7 seconds. To install Windows properly, it will take around 5 minutes to install in this SSD. For the free space, you will get around 538.58 GB free on the blank SSD without having any OS installed. Now talking about the temperatures of this SSD, the idle temperatures often stay below 30 degrees Celsius, mostly likely 28 degrees. Without the heatsink, the temperatures might get above 35 degrees Celsius. So again, it's not a huge difference uh, as compared to when the heatsink is applied, but slightly benefits the temperatures when the heatsink is applied. Now on heavy load, most probably you will get around uh, 68 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees celsius for the maximum temperatures of this ssd it might get toasty but nothing to worry about so again installing the heatsink might benefit the temperatures in some scenarios temperatures now let's test the game's booting time from this ssd versus a hard disk for sample here i ran gta 5 from both ssd and hdd and got a huge increment in terms of loading games It took 37 seconds to load GTA 5 from this SSD. Whereas on the other hand, it took 1 minute and 16 seconds to load GTA 5 from hard disk. Just double the amount of time. Also, I ran some more games from both the hard disk and SSD and got these results. So it looks like this SSD almost takes half the amount of time to load games when compared to hard disk. So 
that's it guys this was the review of uh, sx 8200 pro ssd from my side and i know that i always get late on posting regular content and that's because i always try to create quality content i always give my best to create the quality content so because of that i get late always but from now onwards i will try my best to post videos asap i promise thanks for watching if you end up liking the video please hit the like button share this video to your friends comment down your favorite thoughts and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next one till then stay tuned and goodbye